Ever since the Republican Florida governor opened the beaches, one might never know about the deadly COVID pandemic. The crown jewel, Miami Beach, is full of scantily clad young women in bikinis, cruising the golden sands, in search of very rich young men, looking for scantily clad young women in bikinis. One would think everything is normal again. But what most people don't know is the coronavirus has also hit the great white sharks, making them even more deadly than what was previously normal. Almost daily a partially devoured body is swept up on the beach. The last victim was a young man, but oddly, the Miami coroner determined that he had died of the coronavirus long before the shark had attacked him. It's thought that the great white sharks may also be passing the virus through the ocean's food chain, putting aquatic and human life equally at risk. Speaker Nancy Pelosi, in a drunken rage while on vacation, had accused President Trump of not working with Congress and not doing enough to kill the virus. The same virus that New York governor had allowed to escape, killing thousands of senior citizens in nursing homes. Uh, didn't, wasn't really uh, respectful of the reason of the Congress and the White House working together. He just took a pass. And it just makes me wonder why, why he did that. Trump, meanwhile, says he's doing what he can to stop the death and destruction of human life and the economy. We've dramatically accelerated development of new therapies and potential vaccines. Johnson & Johnson, Oxford, great places. And uh, we have 90 clinical trials underway and hundreds more on the way. Senator Chuck Schumer had just returned to New York from his vacation in Miami Beach when playing with scantily clad young women in bikinis. He couldn't think of anything to do to help the president. So instead, he just stood on the Senate floor and picked his nose and blamed Trump for ruining his vacation. We are also inspired by the bravery of our doctors and nurses, healthcare workers, first responders and other daily heroes, many of them immigrants. Back on the gleaming, golden, sandy beaches, all the pretty girls were still partying like it was 1999. That was when the Democrats and we at CNN last loved Donald Trump. But with all the recent shark attacks, the Florida governor is expected to close the beaches again. And then blame Democrats and Joe China Biden for being too friendly with China. Back to you Wolf 